Dynamite Valley, Brian, Amber Bitter. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Bollocks. I've got one from Cornwall and it is from the Dynamite Valley Brewery based in Truro in Cornwall and they've got a, an amber ale they're calling it. This is called Brian Amber Bitter coming in at 5%. It's named after a fella called Brian Cumby who supported the brewery, sadly passed away and this was brewed in his honour. And it does sound like quite a good beer. However, I did try the wheat beer from this brewery and I was really disappointed. I mean, the, the packaging and all that is fantastic. It comes in this massive label that just wraps around the bottle. I'll show you that in a minute. And it looks really nice. It's got all the, all the artwork on there. Probably not, probably not too eco-friendly with the amount of paper that goes into it, but I have to say, the wheat beer that I tried was really disappointing, but I'm hoping this is gonna be good. And I've got it, you know, quite fresh, so there really is no excuses for this being bad. And it talks a good fight. And I'll get onto that in a minute. A little bit about the about the Dynamite Valley Brewery. They've been going since 2015, started off in a port cabin, uh, crowdfunded their way into bigger premises and now they're brewing quite a range of beers. They put on their Twitter page that they're um, an American style brewery, but if you look at this, this beer here, this one, it doesn't really sound American at all. And the wheat beer wasn't really American either. So I'm not sure where they've sort of got that from, but you know, who am I to judge? But, Let's stop guessing and let's get this beer checked out. Right, Magoo, we'll get the bins on because Magoo is fucking seeing double at the moment. He can't see a thing. Oh, ho! Trying to placate me with intoxicating drinks. That is better. Dynamite Valley Brewing Company, Brew crafted in Cornwall. Brian Amber Bitter coming in at 5%. Uh, 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 this beer is named after Fred Brian Cumbert, yeah. Builder of the Bronze Age Boar, which sadly, hang on, what the fuck? Builder of the Bronze Age Boar, who sadly passed away before we could brew him a beer. Brian would have loved this beer. Taste light amber bitter, sorry, taste light amber with a bitter bite. Biscuit pairing, Gary Baldy, who the fuck eats biscuits with beer? Serving. This beer is filtered so it can be free poured. Okay. 10 to 12, but still still tastes ideal straight from the fridge. This is come from the fridge. Ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. Yeah, beer is suitable for vegetarian and vegans, 2.5 units, 500 mil, 5%. Yeah, looks pretty good. Let me take the um, the label off. I just want to show you the label. Fucking Christmas, isn't it? That is what the bottle likes. It's just it's just like a plain brown bottle. And to be honest, if you ain't got a labelling machine, this is a pretty good alternative. That's how big the fucking label is. And the artwork, I have to say, is very nice. Looks like pencil sketched. You get a beer taken with it. I've got that from the uh, from the other one. I am going to save these because if I ever do go down to Cornwall, I am going to visit this. There's a little bit about the brewery there. If you want to read it, I'm not going to read all that out because you know how shit I am at reading. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't see it. Right, pause your video now and read. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's auto focus. Yeah, read that now and learn about the brewery. Oh, I'm not going to read that out because we'll be here all day. And yeah, that is a beer token. So when I turn up with 100 of these, 
I'm going to say, fill me up, stout yeoman of the bar. Right, there's the bottle. It's just got a little label on there, best before, 23rd of the first, 21. It is now July, it is the 18th of July, 2020, so it's well within date. All that remains now is to open it. Let's get it open. Cap is just plain. And the nose. Wow, this does smell nice. Nice. Caramel malt. Smells like a Rubio. But it says amber on the label. Mmm, confusing. One thing I've noticed, they've really have gone minimalistic. All the label and information is all on that label. There's nothing else on here at all, apart from that best before date. It's got Brian and just the name of the beer on it. I'm Brian, and so's my wife. Let's get it in the glass. Again, this is not looking good. Right, now there it is in the glass. Now this is interesting because alarm bells rang when I poured this, it was very fizzy, and I thought the head was gonna fizzle out and it was gonna be another one of them dodgy beers. But actually, it has settled down now. It looks quite nice, the carbonation is very light on it. It's retained the head as well, even though it's got a half finger head, it's still there. So on the nose, there's a lot of caramel and a touch of toffee on there as well. It smells like a ruby ale, but it's, it's very sort of amber in color, as they say, which is intriguing. Let's get it down the hatch. Cheers. Oh my good God, that is lovely. Wow, what a turnaround. Talk about chalk and cheese. I was really in two minds about buying one from this brewery again after the letdown with the wheat beer. But I am glad I have stuck with this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it is lovely. There is a load of caramel and toffee malt on this. Nice fruit on the top of it as well, like fruit cake. Mouthfeel is absolutely superb. It really is. This really has surprised me. Oh, it, honestly, this is a fucking revelation. That is amazing. It reminds me of the worky ticket stuff, which I thought was out of this world. This is up there with it. And I'll tell you something, their mate who died, that Brian Cumbie fella, they've done him proud here with this. This is amazing. It is full of flavor. Now, they put this down as an amber ale, right? So that can mean a lot of things. You know, you can get your lager-esque type ales, golden ales, amber ales. This, to me, should just be a little bit darker. And that would be the perfect ruby. The mouthfeel is absolutely superb. Have you tasted John Smith Smooth? I hope you haven't, but if you have, it tastes like shit. But one thing you can't say isn't true it is so smooth and that's what it's brewed for they've done this not purposely but it is it is as smooth as that and when i pulled it out the amount of carbonation and i could see the head dissipating i had really you know not high hopes for it there's no brew sheet on the website but i'm assuming they've put maris otter 
in here or carapils carapils for the head retention and the creamy sort of taste i mean well you don't really get that the maris otto gives it the creamy taste but it's got fantastic head retention on that and it tastes like there's maris otter in here but it's absolutely gorgeous it's like a nutty sweet caramel i mean it's it's just loads of caramel but if you ever want to taste caramel malt so you can remember it when you're tasting other beers this is a showcase for caramel malt it is absolutely gorgeous lovely sweet smooth little bit of fruit on top of that no real hot bitterness at all and that's come out of the fridge and it's stood there for about no more than 10 minutes and it is absolute and you know i've had this sitting here for ages and i looked at it and i thought mm, shall i nah fuck it not today what a big mistake this is lovely oh it's just superb i cannot get enough of this that was full about three minutes ago and i'm necking this i've got to stop i'm going to stop reviewing it now because it's just going to be me ranting and raving how great this is what's the verdict well talk about a turnaround the wheat beer really put me off. I really didn't have high hopes for this at all. And I bought it thinking, well, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it because I sort of thought after I tried the wheat beer, nah, no, I'm not gonna get any more of theirs. And I have to say, what a turnaround this is. This is up there with some of the best British ales I've ever tasted. It is superb. It is just full of caramel malt. It is a showcase for caramel malt. But the mouthfeel is absolutely superb. And it just tastes so fucking Moorish. I mean, I'm downing this like it's going out of fashion, but... Mm. I cannot get enough of that. And look, it's got perfect head retention on it as well. I'm going to put it down before I cane it. That is superb. If I could give that 11 out of 10, I would. But for me, that is a 10 out of 10. That is amazing. That is typically British. That is what I like. That is great. And I urge you to try some. Dynamite Valley, you have gone from zero to hero in two beers. Well done. That is a fucking credit to you and a fitting tribute to your mate, Brian Cumby, well done. 10 out of 10, recommended. And I urge you, if you like, if you're a fan of traditional British beers and ales, get this. I imagine on cask, if they do it on cask, this is absolutely sublime. Really good, recommended. And remember, just like this, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>